guys, we're gonna do some beef back ribs today. I saw them at my local HB. They were very cheap. They're coming in with the bourbon BBQ, mellow smoky flavor, Bear Mountain pellets, rocking that Brawl King pellet crown 500 for this cook. This is gonna be a good one. Coming in with them hooks rubs. We're going in with that Mad Cow in the H Town AP rub. Along with the Cantaritos Pineapple Hard Soda, 5%. Oh my goodness, was that upside down? That's my knife. And uh, this is what we're going with here, guys. It's basically just a rack of beef back ribs from a local HEB. And they have been cut down to center to make it look like two racks. It's all good. We're just going to do an experimental cook on this thing today. I'm going to open these up. And uh, we'll see what we what kind of results we get. I've got some good plans on this thing. So I'm going to open it up, pat them dry with some paper towels. And we're going to pull these out. I'm going to um, wipe them down really good on both sides. And uh, again, guys, this is a very inexpensive cook. And I'm very surprised with how meaty these things are looking so far. That's a little close-up for you right there. I'm not going to do any trimming. None whatsoever, but I am going in with that horseradish sauce for a binder, and I am going to season both sides. I know a lot of you people out there don't, but I am. Um, and I'm coming in with that H-Town AP rub. And I'm going to follow up with that Mad Cow. And this is a fantastic combination on beef. I've used it on brisket before. Um, very happy with this flavor profile. You can get these delicious rubs at hooksrubs.com. Use Trumpet at checkout for a nice discount. I'm telling you guys, he's got a fantastic lineup of rubs. Go check them out. Again, we're just repeating the process on the top side. And we're just going to let them chill. Because I had the cooker preheated to 350 to kind of burn everything off. And as soon as it hit 350, I let it rock for 350 for about 10 minutes. And then I back it down to 250. So we're going to cook these ribs for about 4 to 5 hours at 250 degrees. I'm not gonna wrap them. I'm not gonna spritz them. I'm just gonna put them in the cooker and let them go. Bone side down, which makes it meat side up. And we're just gonna close the lid after I give you this close up of this deliciousness. You know, very excited to get these cooking guys it's 11 a.m and let's go guys this is hour number four look at these ribs look at that pullback look at that color just the smells coming off of this grill i'm telling you guys absolutely fantastic i'm i'm very happy with what i'm seeing so far and guys this is hour number five this is where i'm finally checking the internal temp and i'm looking for 200 degrees and that's where we're at. Right at 200 degrees. Some spots may look a little hotter, but we're in the 200. Okay, so these ribs in my book are done. This is what I wanted to try. So I'm going to pull them. And I'm going to wrap them in foil to rest them. And they will rest for a couple of hours before I cut into them. But uh, that's the first rack. And you can see the second rack, the bark, the color that it developed, the pullback. I'm just going to stack them on top of each other and just use one piece of foil to uh, rest them. And uh, eventually go back and cut into them and enjoy this deliciousness that we call beef back ribs. And uh, that's it, guys. It's just a simple wrap. And I'm just going to rest them. I'm going to put them in. I'm actually going to put that in a full tray into the microwave and rest them for an hour or two. 
Hey guys, here is the finished product, and I'm going to tell you, this is not the last time that I do these. I was so impressed. Look at the smoke ring. Look, look at the juices. This cook was a success, and it was so cheap, and it was so delicious. Get out there and get yourself some beef back ribs. I promise you, do them the way that I did, and you're going to love them. Get you those hooks rubs. You're going to enjoy this inexpensive cook, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. I will catch you on the next one. Peace out. In paradise, just another day. In paradise.